Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, lecturer in computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we want to learn how to add an average line to a line chart in Excel 2010. So before we start, let's take a look at our desired result. Over here on the left hand side in columns A and B, I've got some simple data representing average daily tech support calls on a monthly basis for two years. And my line chart here in the centre, on it the blue line represents the actual tech support calls on a monthly basis and the red line represents the average uh, for over the two year period. So I can compare uh, visually like this, it'll look great in the presentation, the actual tech support calls with the overall average. Now, as it happens, there isn't any easy way in Excel to uh, insert an average line, this, line like this. We must learn a little trick first, so that's what we're going to do now. So let's go back to the beginning and take a look at the raw data. And uh, here we have my um, data again in columns A and column B. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a simple chart. So I'm going to select all my data from cell A2 down to cell B26 in this case. I'm going to create the chart by choosing the insert ribbon across the top of Excel. In the chart section, I'm going to select line. And then from this, I'm going to select the option here on the left hand side in the middle, line with marker. So click on that. So that gives me a basic line chart and I'm just making it a little bit bigger here so as we can see a little bit better what we're doing. Now before we go take any further, I just want to tidy this chart up a little bit. As I'm adding a line, these existing black lines are going to be a little bit confusing. So I'm going to remove those. That's straightforward to do. So click on any one of the lines which are left mouse and uh, should make sure it's selected and just hit the delete key and that will remove those lines. I've also got a lot of white space down here. So I want to change the minimum value of my y-axis. The minimum value at the moment is 180. Let me change it to 190. So left click any value here on the y-axis, then right click, choose format axis, uh, in the Axis Options Minimum section, click on Fixed and change 180 to 190 and then press Enter. So that makes our chart look a little bit more valuable here. So next, in order to insert the average line, I need first of all to calculate the average. So I'm going to put in a heading here called Average. And I'm, in fact, what I'm actually going to do is I want to put the average value for all the calls in each of the cells here in column C. So let's calculate the average first. So I'm going to use Excel's average function for that. So I'm going to type in equals and average, A-V-E-R-A-G-E, -E, opening bracket. And with my mouse, select all the values in column B representing our data to calculate the average. Circle so closing bracket and press enter. So we can see the average value is 206.125. And then I want to copy that down to all the other values here. So I've got the same value in each cell uh, in column B from rows 3 to rows 26. Now before I do that, I need to change this uh, formula up here to absolute cell referencing. So double click on that. And a quick way to do cell referencing, uh, absolute cell referencing is, is to click on B3 here and press the F4 key. That puts in my dollar symbols. Also click on B26, press F4. That puts in the dollar symbols as well and press enter. We still have the same value, but now it's an absolute cell reference. So I can now copy this by using Excel's autofill tool. I can copy this value down to all the other cells here. So now you can see I've got the same value uh, in column C for each of the tech support calls. And I can now use this to draw a straight line on my chart. So the quickest and easiest way to do this is click on the chart first of all, make sure it's selected. And it, you've got this frame around it when that happens to let you know it's selected. You'll also know it's selected because you'll see, in my case here, there's a blue line, thin line, around um, the values in column B. And down at the bottom right-hand corner of that blue blue rectangle, you'll see a, a slightly um, little blue box. And when I put my mouse over that, it changes to the uh, arrow symbols. If I click with my left mouse button, hold, and then drag that to extend that blue box over column C, let go, and then that will place my red line on the chart to represent the mean value. So effectively what I've done is I've got a line here with a value of 2.0 or 206 all the way across. Now to change this to a solid red line, just uh, left click on the line anywhere, then right click, choose change series chart type. And we can see here in the line, the third line across the top, the um, markers one is already selected. Just change it to a line type without markers. Click on OK and that changes our line to a solid red line. The last thing I want to do here is add in a chart title. So go to the chart tools, select the layout ribbon, 
uh, include uh, here in the label section click on chart title I'm going to put it above the chart and in my chart title here when the box is selected just type in equals and select the title here from my first row and press enter so now I've got my chart finished and I can see here which values are above average and which values are below average and I can use this in many quality control applications. So that's how you insert an average line on a line chart in Excel 2010. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.